Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. Uh, today's video is taking my halo off and applying it to the car. I've got them all ground up. Just took some time, the flapper wheel, and ground them up. Made them look half decent. Look pretty good. Remind me of a tambourine or something like that. But that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to have to do a few things before I put them in. Uh, just before we get started, I, I shoved the seat in it, got that seat put in it, put steering wheel on it. Uh, the steering column, there's nothing, we thought the steering column had, there was a piece to hold the steering column down in place there, but that steering column's got to go all the way up when you sit in the car, it's laying down on your leg. So uh, come to realize that that bolts all the way up. Um, what am I going to say? On this stuff here, before I put the porthole in, uh, these holes here are for some... I guess Jim calls it monkey metal. I'm not sure why he calls it monkey metal, but Jim, that's what Jim calls it. But this stuff here, it's got a bunch of pits in it and, and that sort of stuff in there. And in, in order to apply that to the car after the car has been painted, you try to put a nice paint job on it and then apply the stuff that's, that's got pits in it to the car. It really takes the car back down. I don't know. It takes it down, I think. For me, it does. So, this is what I'm thinking. Um, when it came to customizing a car and, and deleting a lot of stuff off the car, um, and I think that's why it was done, you know? That's why people started deleting things off the car and they called it customizing. But when you look at the bird like that, it's all pitted. Um, when the car is all painted, you, you, must, you must agree that that wouldn't look good on there. I mean, yes, you can paint them pieces over. Yes, you can, but it would not look good. We have all the pieces for the doors. They're all pitted. And you can imagine, or some people would know, that what that would cost to fix. Um, it would be enormous amounts of money. And um, sometimes uh, when you get spending that much money on your car, is it really worth it in the end? Uh, I'm sure if you looked around, uh, you could probably buy this car. I think you could probably buy this car, uh, a driver for probably ten to twenty thousand dollars in amongst there. You could probably buy that. But to, there's probably more than that spent on the car already from the amount of work that was done to it, tearing it apart and getting in the primer, doing a bunch of stuff to it, uh, fixing everything that had to be fixed. There's probably more than that money in this car right now than if you could just go buy one. People must understand that. You can buy it cheaper than you can build it. And if you think that you're going to build, get a car, a project car, and build it and then sell it, just you, you may as well forget it. You may as well buy and then and try to resell because once you get the labor involved, labor is going through the roof and time you try to get things done. If you paint something and then put all that pity stuff back on it, are you going to get thirty forty thousand dollars out of this car once you apply all that stainless back on there or that monkey metal probably not um, where we got the car at a reasonable price um, I'm thinking that we probably could you know do okay but still in in the end if we put a paint job on it and put all that uh, pit at chrome back on it are you going to get twenty thousand dollars at it Probably not, you know, to, to spend that much time and work and effort uh, to, to go backwards, not worth it. You have to think about it before you start your project. You really have to think about it. So when it comes to this stuff, I just lost where I was going. When it comes to this stuff, I'm going to delete. I'm going to delete this stuff. I'm going to delete the, the fender tags, up, or the fender spears. I'm going to delete whatever. I'm going to delete, delete, delete whatever does not look good. And, and that way there... Uh, the car is going to look a little smoother and when it's painted it'll look a little nicer Also, we got the interior um, Piece chipped off there uh, as you sit in it, you notice a little rip going on there uh, Chippies on the steering wheel hours and hours and hours and and lots of money to try to repair that sort of stuff big money um, But it's a good visual got in set in it tried the pedals pedals are perfect. Uh, I'm happy with it so what I'm going to do now before I even put the the window in, the porthole window in, is I'm going to cover the seat up with this little blanket that I have, just a welding blanket. Uh, instead of taking the seat back out, I'll just cover it up. Just cover it up. And it does not matter if it gets dirty. Uh, the, the seat's been outside. Um, 
and when we got the car it was in a pile of pile of disarray so I don't feel like it's gonna hurt it any disarray so let's put a porthole in this bad boy let's do it let's let's I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a couple pieces and I'm gonna delete this stuff first we'll tack them pieces in we won't weld it up solid or anything then we'll put the porthole window in what I'm gonna do for them pieces right there I find <clears throat> Where the roof is like this, if you look into the other side, you can see the holes, the big holes along the bottom of the roof. Um, there's some work I still have to do to connect the roof to uh, the wheel well, the inner panel there. But in, to delete those, I could take the time and try to make them fit perfectly and try to weld them in. But in all honesty, um, where nothing's going to get inside the roof, I'm just going to cut a couple pieces, stick them in from the back side, weld them from the front side grind them off and and and, and it's going to be filler uh, when we weld the porthole window in it's going to have to be ground and weld it and you're no doubt in my mind going to have a little filler on it and uh, we'll just make it one smooth panel jolene said you don't have to say 55 56 first gen first gen thunderbird um, did not have any of this monkey metal going along here and tags and all that sort of stuff it was really clean with basic little chrome that's where we're going. I'm going to cut some pieces here. Excuse me, sweetheart. Jolene looks amazing this morning. She's going to take me for her drive in her new car. It's fun day Sunday. And uh, I hope you're out working on your project or thinking about it or whatever, like something like that. And the reason being is um, you're not hurting anybody. You're not disturbing anybody. You're, you know, doing your own thing. It's a great thing, especially when you're working on your project and going forward. Just gonna tap this down. Now I can stick them in from, like I said, stick them in from the back side, and just give them a little spot on there, and then weld them in solid. Um, no harm, no foul, I think, because it's inside headliner recovery. You're not gonna see it. Nothing's getting in behind this piece that I stick in there. That's what I'm thinking in my own brain. So let's go for it. Let's put it on and go for it. Get a porthole in this bad boy. I don't know, um, what can I say? Yeah, I do know. I'll be happier with that gone, no doubt in my mind. I don't have to put it back on the car. And it looked a lot nicer with clean paint than it will with spot or rusted metal. No filler in my car, the guy said. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get the <laughs> filler does not bother me because I've done this long enough to know that filler um, is one of the main um, filler is one of the main things you need to know how to do if you're gonna restore a car. If you're into doing metal work, you do not know, you do not have to know anything about body work. Well, you do sort of. <clears throat> And what I find is if you um, do not do the body work and all you do is the metal work, you really don't even actually know what it takes to make the car look right. Um, I've done some body work over top of some, um, some metal work that, you know, a prior person has done. And in all honesty, they would never know how much body filler I had to use 
or I thought I had to use to make it look right. Basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, if you do not do the body fill process, it's hard to really to know exactly how much it takes. Smaller one, just gonna turn the welder on. So, yeah, if you do the work, you obviously um, would know that body fill takes a big part in the restoration business, big part. It's probably the most work of the whole deal, um, is sanding audio body filler, um, making it look right, blocking it out, um, let's face it, if the car is not well done with the body work, no matter how good the metal work is or how good the paint work is, if the body work does not look good, the car will not look good. If the metal work is terrible and the body work is excellent and the paint job is good, it looks awesome. If um, the body work, if the metal work is perfect and the body work is terrible, and the paint job is perfect, the car will look like shit. <laughs> so it's basically what I'm trying to say, say is that the body work is probably the most important part of making something look nice. So you can throw on the best coat of paint in the world, but if your body work is not good, your car does not look good. I can repeat that over and over and over, but I think you get it. Joins in carry on. Get with it. <laughs> what, baby? How am I going to get in there now? I got a magnet. hard spot to get into right there. Did I lose my piece? I did too. I lost my piece. I got a small magnet. Just get in behind there and stick it in there. Do you remember me having a small magnet, sweetheart? Uh. Just try to get in behind there. All right, I'm gonna try to get in there and get my finger in there and get burnt. See if I can lose another piece. I've got an inside construction. I have to deal with. Come on. I hold my tongue right, obviously. Ooh, there it is. Now I'm gonna get burnt. No matter what. That's that? Nope. Ouch. I don't want that to fall. Hard to believe I'd do that for the jaw, but I would. Burn my own fingers. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to... I put that glove, I might as well keep my glove on.
spurs, I put my glove on, I can... There we go. Let's tack it again. Ouch. It's so hot. All right, let's get the air hose. I haven't even got that on yet. Talking and shooting my mouth off and I never even got anything ready. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. And uh, like I said, Joanne's gonna take me for a little ride. She has to do something, so. Just want the air to cool it off. Don't wanna put anything out of shape. Piece of metal right here. Save that for my biggest hole. That one there looks like it's the biggest. Chewed up there a little bit. Ah! Can't use my glove, it's kind of. Stop it. This is getting to be harder than... Harder than I think. Lost another piece of metal. If you take a look at the other side, there's a hole about that big you have to go through to get to the little hole. So I can't get my, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. That's why my fingers smell like chicken right now. <laughs> Ow. That's why my fingers smell like chicken. fingers in there without doing the deal like I have to go no! stop it well ouch ah, yeah. that tack in there gee here I thought it was going to be easy now I could take a coat hanger and, and, and weld it to the coat hanger and stick it in there or put a magnet on the outside make it fit perfectly but let's face it I'm trying to weld the holes up within the time that we have by the time I make four of those make perfectly um, takes time there's many ways to do it but I've chosen to put them in from the back side burn my fingers. That's what I've chosen to do. See it fell in there. Get. Please. Thank you, sweetheart. You're the best. 
<sighs> See what just happened? Yeah. That's still hot. I don't want to put them on the outside. And the reason I don't want to put a, a thing on the outside is because that builds the filler up where I put it on the outside. As soon as I stick an 18 gauge over there, I gotta, that'll be the highest part of the ocean floor. So that means I'd have to do the whole thing, if you understand that. Get my head in there. Come on. Listen. This is not what I was looking for, but this is what I'm getting. I'll dig that one out here in a minute. Where'd that go? Very serious. I might get that poor hole in. <laughs> now I got the piece of metal stuck down in there. I'll get that out after. I could stick my welder to it and pluck it up, but. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna lose it. Can you use these? Ah? Can you use these to pull it up? True life struggle. Stop it. Jeez. How to make yourself ugly in 15 minutes. That's what's going on right in the present moment. And I can't get burn my finger again. I don't want to burn my finger. I don't need Ouch. Maybe. Can't get it up in there. Like, I mean, I'm, I can put it on the outside, but I don't want it on the outside, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. I don't want it on the outside. I don't want it on the outside.
you don't want it on the inside. Maybe I should have made some holes and it's gonna fall again, I know it. Get up. Walter, please. And thank you. It's not getting away this time. I don't think it is. There. doesn't really look the prettiest either, does it? So, I'm just gonna take a coat hanger. I'm gonna do one just to show you what I want it to look like. If I stuck it on the outside, when I grind it off, I'm still gonna grind that metal on the outside, so um, bear with me while I because I want to. If it takes me a little longer to do something, well, it's the name of the game. So you got a little spot right there, a little spot right there. I'm gonna tack it. Or spot it. Now, as you've seen me 
struggle with that. I have that meant, like, if I took a piece and put it on top of that and tried to uh, weld it all the way around the circle and put a round piece in there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defend my time to take that. Okay, if I took a circle and put it on a coat hanger and stuck it in that hole and tried to weld it around that hole, the weld that you put on there has come out. If you grind it all off, you're going to hit that metal and the metal in the center, and you do not know if you really have got what I've got. Is what I've got is I've got the hole plugged because I've got it full of weld. I haven't ground the metal all the way around it, which distorted that. When you go to weld that in, I haven't burnt through anywhere around the outside of it. I've actually got it covered. When I go to fill it, um, there's nothing. It's really hard to say that would be the highest part of, of the ocean floor because I can grind it right flush. If, like I said, if I put it on from the outside, then you do you have to build up the rest of the car that far. When you do a hole like this here, like, like this here, um, you would not want to just come in and spot the hole. And the reason being is the hole, when you, when you weld it up, you want that hole, you want to take the hammer and knock that down a little bit with a punch. Then you can put your weld in there and then you can grind your weld off and then you fill over top of it so it makes it right. But as soon as you start getting a high spot on that or as soon as you start grinding the other metal to make it come down, well then that will sometimes be the highest part of the ocean floor which is the metal if you know what I'm trying to say you want that in further than out alrighty I'm gonna put the porthole in Wow I did it that, that, that was the I smell like chicken baby I smell good I smell good all right what I'm gonna do on this right here to put this porthole in so I'm gonna do that for every one of those so if you see something that you um, if you see that and it looks like poop, well it does. But when I'm done, I'll get it clean it up and then I'll make it look nice. So we've got a port hole in here, or a port hole that we're going to put in. Now you see me make it yesterday, just ground it off. What I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to, I'm not going to do any measuring. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up against the side of the car. I'm going to put it where I like it. And then I'm going to draw the hole. And I'm going to cut it out. And then when it comes to the other side, I'll show you. Tell me where you like it, baby. You like it right there? That look good? Yep. Jolene said, oh, I dropped it. That look good? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to draw a mark around it. You got to be careful, too, when you're marking your car with a marker. If that marker is still on your car when you paint your car, that marker will come through your paint. I have some marker going on there. When you paint your car, that marker will come back through your paint. So you got, really got to be careful. That'll have to be ground off and taken off. That looks good. Think it looks good I'm looking at this distance right here that distance right there are they the same or they look good or could it do you like it from back here I guess that matters look at looking it all over I'm just gonna take a measuring tape for a second just check it out the only thing I'm thinking is we should have the same. I guess we don't. We don't have the same thing going on. We're five and a quarter. Yes, right on the money. Looks good. Awesome. What? Awesome. Looks good. Let's cut it out. I'm gonna cut it out with the plasma cutter. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm not gonna burn my fingers. <clears throat> I want you to come here with the camera, if you would, sweetheart. So, I'm just going to put that back in its place. Oh, that's in its place. If you focus in on, can you focus in on that piece there? On, on where I put the big holes are there? Mm -hmm. There's a hole on the outside 
that I had to shove the piece of metal in to get that to work. That's why I was having such a hard time. There's a hole on the outside to get to the inside. That's what, that, what, that's what was going on. So you, you're thinking, wow, you can't hold that when it's right there. Well, there was a piece of metal in. I couldn't get my fingers in there. Alrighty. Sometimes it's easy. Well, that's why it's easy to judge <coughs> because, because you don't have to, th to think or know. Um, well, I just showed you why I had a hard time. And that way there, you know. Let's do this. I'm gonna stay on the inside of the line. And the reason being is we traced on the outside of the line. So I'm gonna stay on the inside of the black. I've got a thing over this. I need another glove because I burnt my hands enough. Let's do it. All right. All righty. It just didn't blow a hole through, did it? Thinking we're double layered there. Huh. Huh. We're double layered. We got two layers of metal. I suppose that's how you get two holes. If you know what I'm saying. There's two layers on this right here, there's two layers there. I'm just kind of wondering. I'm gonna cut the first hole. One. I got filler. I've got filler. Alrighty. This has turned out to be more than we bargained for. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's always all about. More than you bargain for. Let's do it. Probably easier than doing it with the plasma cutter. Now, let's make that hole look a little better. We don't need to put no window in it, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think we would have had an issue, <laughs> yeah, right? You know what I mean? So, um, didn't really notice that. Playing with fire, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
playing with fire there. And, well, we didn't want to go up any higher. We did not want to go up any higher. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher because I'm thinking that we want that. So I'm gonna put that right there. Just a little, just a little bit. Let's do that again. marker and make sure I do the right thing. Mark it and then go for it. Make sure we're at the bottom. We're getting closer now. I think I'll grind that as I go. We'll get this tacked in. We've got a, bu a bunch of, I'm not gonna say a bunch, we got, a, we got some filler on this part right here on the roof. So we're gonna knock that filler, maybe bang that out a little bit. Sorry, sweetheart, had to do it. Had to do it. He was hitchhiking, he had to go. I can remember as a young person, I would hitchhike everywheres. Um, I had, you know, I was a slow learner when I was younger. I got caught um, drinking and driving a few times and uh, I became a professional hitchhiker and um, you learn lots when you hitchhike. I was worrying about the highest part of the Houston floor. Well, there's the lowest part. Get a hammer and bang that out a little bit. see that the metal I crack some filler going on there but I've got it out now I could probably can take a lot of that filler out I am going to leave that filler there 
while I weld that up, obviously, not obviously, most people want to grind it out and bang it out, but I want to leave that filler there and I'll tell you why. When I put the heat to that, that filler on that metal is an excellent insulator. It takes the heat. So it, it kind of keeps your metal uh, in place. I have probably metal that's oil can there or stretched there a little bit, shoved in a little too far. That's okay. We'll weld this up and then we'll deal with that. But leave that on there for protection. For the heat. Leave it on there for the heat. Man, that thing's fitting good. Man, that thing's fitting good. Let's bring that out there. We can get that. That thing's fitting good. Awesome. Now, let's get the old welder going. Jolene's helped me out this morning. Am I taking too long, sweetheart? No, you're good. I'm good, she says. Do I smell like chicken? Yep. Ha, ha, ha. Smell like chicken, boys. Smell like chicken. I had chicken wings last night. Jolene took me out to have a little bite to eat. I had chicken wings. Just want to knock this out a little bit. Come in. Just want to get it in the right place. And what I mean by the right place, I think you know by now, that metal, I just want to place the metal in the right place. Ah, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Just looking it over hard for some reason. right there for a second. Alrighty. One holds it, two it's in place. I'm saying it's in place. do it. Just going to go all the way around it. Tight. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay, where's tight? No more. Bang in the rest. Were you saying there's a company that put in the pour holes? The Ford sent them to a company or did Ford put the pour holes in? I'm not sure. Because sometimes, um, like the Trans Am, the factory didn't put the, the T bar in, they sent it to a company, Fisher or somebody like that to, I don't think. All right. I'm just gonna go around it again. That's way high now. I got a little spot here that's in, but I can get into it from the inside, which is a great thing. Let's just go around it again. Knock that. Yeah. Should be fine.
first spot where I grounded off is throwing my eye off. So now we have a porthole in the bird. I'm going to coat hanger. On the floor, back of the welder. What do we at, sweetheart? 51. 51? All right, I'm just gonna leave it like that then, I guess. Um, Portholes in, no, nope, not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do the other side. Where I've got that in there, I think you deserve to know because that's what we do. That's what we do. So I got the porthole in there. Uh, we, we just guessed, we didn't, we put it where we liked it and we shoved it in there. Jolene said, okay, and I said, yay. So this is what I'm gonna do to put it on the other side to get it in the exact same spot. I'm gonna take a piece of cardboard with a straight edge. I'm going to do this. Sometimes you get into a car and uh, you was not, I was not expecting filler right there. I was not expecting that. I knew there was a little bit there, but I was not expecting it, but that's okay. I mean, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. If you've got no filler in your car, I'm happy for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna lay it right at the point of the roof. I'm gonna lay this part at that part down here. Lay it straight so I get a straight line. She's my lady. There's my straight line to my roof. Get that down where it's going. Now, that's what I'm gonna do. Cut that out. Down with straight the roof. We're right to the corner here. Cut that out. A pair of scissors. We got lucky on that inner side construction. I wasn't paying attention to that. Um, we got lucky. But what I mean by the inside construction is where the window. Let's get a grinder, cut that out too, but for the inside construction of that window. If we had down downy lower, we probably got a little bit of a mess. We would have figured it out, but we wouldn't have got a little bit of a mess. Right at the front of the roof. Do the exact same thing. Go right to the front of the roof right here. Let it go with the down there. Right there. There's my pore hole. That's how I'm gonna do it. Because we guessed on the other side, and um, that's what we're gonna do on this side. Now, if we pull that off and it does not look it does not look the greatest because they're two different sides, obviously you'll fix it. Like, I mean, just because it says so, or, you know, I'm transferring it over to the other side, just because it says that doesn't mean it is that. And we're just doing the best we can with what we have. So we've got the pore hole on this side. I'll continue welding these up. I know these were probably hard for everybody to watch. And the reason being everybody says, I would just shove it on the outside. Well, no, I was thinking, I'm thinking about the filler that's going on. And, um, that's what I was doing. I was thinking about that and the way, I'm, the way I was going to grind it off. Um, have a great day, everybody. It's Sunday fun day. Um, like, subscribe, come back. Appreciate you coming back. Um, comment, share, do all the stuff above and just have a fantastic day. And um, if it smells like chicken, keep on licking.